Asperger's is part of the autism continuum, and the severer forms of autism are more conspicuous, can actually be picked up in the first year of life, if you know what to look for. But Asperger's syndrome is a milder expression, a more subtle expression, that for some of the boys may be picked up in primary school, but the girls may not be until life becomes more socially complex, that is high school. So there can be a delay in diagnosis according to the nature of the expression of the signs. When you have Asperger's syndrome, you have to really use a lot of mental effort to cope with the social aspects of life. Typical kids are natural child psychologists, so they know the kid is different and they're very prone to bullying and teasing which leads to low self-esteem and depression by feeling different is defective. There are naturally high levels of anxiety. So you've got anxiety disorders, from generalized anxiety to separation anxiety. You also have issues of escaping into imagination because you're not respected and valued by others. And that imagination is incredibly enjoyable. You're not aware of how people are looking at you as you talk to your imaginary friends that you're diagnosed with schizophrenia or schizoid personality disorder. Also, you may not be successful socially, but you've got your intelligence and you value intelligence highly and you become very arrogant about your skills that you're diagnosed with narcissistic personality disorder. Or you're a girl and you can make friends, but you can't keep them. And when you lose friends, you catastrophize. You're very black and white in who you like and don't like. And as such, you may be confused with borderline personality disorder. There can also be an association with eating disorders, sleep disorders and many other problems are much higher than we would expect in this group. The, the special interests all have a use-by date, hours or decades, but the one that concerns me the most is computer games. And what we find is, yes, there's high levels of anxiety, but the computer game is a thought blocker to inhibit anxious thoughts. It's an energizer and source of pleasure if you're depressed. It also means that if you are on the games and you connect through the internet, you are now, for the first time in your life, popular because you're an expert in the game and you're a leader in the game. So you have high status within that group. And so the risk is it becomes addictive and they then spend far too much time engaged in the game especially on the internet, because when you're on the internet, you don't have Asperger's. It's the cure. So my concern is weaning them off an excessive use. And what I say to parents is, two hours a day is enough. If he wants any more, fine, but he's got to earn it. If he's done his homework, another two hours. If he's done the household chores, another hour, but he's got to earn it. Otherwise, if you're not careful, he will maroon himself in his bedroom, not allow anybody in, and totally engage in the computer. For internet use, there are other issues, not only of the fascination with the games, it's where do they go on the internet? And this is the area of sexuality and pornography that is not a good model and um, documentary of relationship skills. So it's where else do they go on the internet for information? that I'm concerned that parents may say, oh, but at least he's engaged and we can get on with other things. But I'm concerned, what is he watching? Where is he going? How long is he spending on this? Another thing I will suggest to the parents is, he can play games for a short period of time. Then he needs to be taught how to design games. Computer graphics, animation is maybe his potential career. That's better than just being a gamer.